If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? The words will never show that you have come to know. If a face could launch a thousand ships, then where am I to go? There's no If a man could be two places at one time, I'd be with you tomorrow and today, beside you all the way. If the world should stop revolving, spinning slowly down to die, I'd spin. Then one by one the stars would all go round And you and I would simply fly Now, what I like about this song is that in order to mimic David Gates playing on the guitar, specifically the Glenn Campbell show in 1971, we are going to use only three strings instead of four for most of the chords, with the exception of the E7. So E7 comes in like that, nice and easy. So the first chord here is the A. is the facsimile picking pattern that I've decided upon that I think sounds a lot like David Gates. You can choose whichever you like, of course. But you play the A, and then the A major 7 comes up. I just swivel my hand down like that, so my index finger stays. And then I lift that middle finger off. A7, so the index finger hasn't left the string yet. Now from here, we could switch over to the D like this or like this, but what I found the best for me is to use my middle, my ring, and my pinky. Of course, you want to make sure that your pinky nail is nice and short because it was a little longer and it kept scratching the inside of my ring finger, and that's no fun. So I like to do it like that because then the D can seamlessly change to the D minor by putting my index on one and lifting the pinky off. Then to the A, and back to the D minor, and then the E7. I usually just go, I do that on every single E7. Um, I think David only did it on one or two, but just for consistency, I'm just doing it every time and for the lesson to be a little easier to teach. Then we have a gorgeous part that comes up with something called a cliche. So we've got F sharp minor. And then this F sharp note is actually going to move down to the F. So then I'm going to switch everything around. So I'm barring the center two strings of my index put my middle finger over here. So it kind of has to invert a little bit. And this is cool because it doesn't matter the A string. If the A string is being touched by the little fleshy part on the inside of your finger, that's okay. Because we're not playing the A string at all. And then from there, you just lift up that index finger. So now it's 2-1 open. 
back to my D. So again, the middle finger hasn't moved for that entire progression. And then, my favorite part, the E minor comes up and then the F sharp 7. Usually a song like this is avoided on ukulele because the E minor is okay, unless you're a beginner, then it's super new and it's kind of hard to do. It's just one, two, three. But the F sharp 7 usually requires a bar because you basically you're taking your F, F7 and you have to shift it up. But we're not playing the A string. So it's perfect because the A string is actually very distracting in this song. It doesn't sound anything like um, David Gates's version on the guitar. So we don't even want to put it in there at all. So instead of E minor here, that G note, and I'm playing a low G by the way. Gotta have the low G on this song in my personal opinion. Uh, the, the G note just doesn't do anything for me. So there's another way of playing an E minor which requires four fingers. It's usually what you see on, on ukulele charts. But we don't have to play the A string. So we're going to actually take our D minor, one, two, up two frets. So now we have four, four, three. Which is beautiful with that B in the bass. And then, here's the coolest part is that we're going to go from the E minor to an F sharp 7. All I had to do was leave my ring finger down and travel down with my peace sign fingers like this. So it's E minor, F sharp 7, which is beautiful because you get that walk down. Um, it's called a melodic walk within the chord structure, and I first learned about that from shout out to Fred Sokolow and his book, Jazzing Up the Ukulele. Amazing. And then from there, that melodic walk continues down. That's my B minor seven. And then the E seven. Like that. So when you put it all together, it sounds like this. Now as far as the right hand picking pattern goes, I'm assigning my fingers. You can do it a different way, but if you're all thumbs, if you only play with your thumb on the right hand, then you will always sound like you only play with your thumb on your right hand. So I really encourage you to give it a shot. Thumb, one, two, like that. And then when I do my E7, I, I do use my ring finger on the A string. But the rest of the whole picking thing is this. I'm doing that with an A chord. So, then you walk, and then you lift, and then you throw that weird D down, then you strip to the D minor, A major, so the middle finger hasn't even left. And then the E7, I do this. So, I hope that you enjoyed today's play along and tutorial. This song is very sentimental to me, uh, in particular because my dad, Stu Harriet, proudly was the sound engineer and touring manager of Bread's uh, reunion tour through Europe in 1997. So I grew up with a big poster on the wall, uh, signed by all the members of Bread that said, best sound job of my life. <laughs> so rest in peace, Dad. I'm paying tribute to your honor. And so if you did enjoy this tutorial, you might think about uh, supporting what we do here at the Starlight Ukes through Patreon. Starlight Ukes, you can find a description, a link in the description or in the bio. And um, in exchange for becoming a patron, you get all the PDFs from the Strum Along with all of the chord charts, and you get to vote on the songs, and you get to support this project. And we would be eternally grateful. 
We, meaning my fiancé and musical partner Perry Stauffer and I. And if you want to dive deeper into learning ukulele and learning the bass, then we do offer online Zoom classes at the Starlight Ukulele Academy. We have five classes per month, new topics every month, although the genres are fingerstyle ukulele, blues ukulele, jazz ukulele, beginning ukulele, and bass. We teach Mondays through Thursdays. Again, information in the description or the bio. So also make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell. That way you'll get notifications every time we have a new tutorial coming out, which is every week now. And make sure you go and check us out on all of the social platforms because we're posting all kinds of fun stuff, including clips from the Academy. Finally, if you're interested about this ukulele I'm playing today, this is by Ohana, which is a company that is near and dear to our hearts. It's got a slotted headstock. We call it the daisy for obvious reasons. Nothing says flower power like this daisy uke. This is the tenor. It has a solid cedar top and laminate macassar back and sides, which is great, especially if you're traveling. This is a perfect travel uke because it's laminate on the back and sides, so you don't have to worry about too much fluctuation with the solid wood, but it still has the solid top, which gives you that gorgeous, robust sound. And this baby packs a punch. This is a tenor size. We also have it in concert. As you can see, we have our music store. Thank you for listening through my commercial, and I hope that you have a very sparkly day.